Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sunstone and today we finally have another episode in our Let's Play series. It's been a minute so thank you so much for your patience and I'm so excited to hop back into our Let's Play file and see what we can accomplish today. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So we are on fall day 18. Let's see, make sure everything is in order out here. Obviously, no time has actually passed in the game, luckily, so everything's fine. Uh, we have some harvests. We're gonna do all of our dailies as usual. Oh, the fall is just so beautiful in this game. So we have cranberries, we have sweet potatoes, and we have some dragon fruit as well. Okay, and I'm going to start processing some of the bronze so that we can make the mayo machine. I'm going to make some smoothies today because I feel like I could use the money. Okay, so I just made five smoothies, four green smoothies. We're going to immediately sell them. Uh, let's say good morning to our chickens and also our cows. I hope they're happy today. I'm happy today. Make sure we give them some love. Oh, they're already munching away. They must be hungry. Let's pop inside. Um, let's just place the food to be safe. I like to keep it fully stocked even if like they still have some left to eat. Just in case I forget another day, you know, when I do remember. I definitely lean into that. <laughs> just in case. So, now that we've finished all of our dailies, I would like to go diving. I noticed that we are so close to a C rank. We are literally three points away and we do still have some more activations to do in the ocean. So I want to see if we can achieve a rank C this episode. I think we should be able to. I mean, we are so close. So let's see if we can do that. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't know exactly how many points we get per, like, activation, but I think it has to be, like, a couple, right? One, two, three. Like, it should be, should be doable. So, let's see what else we have to activate. I believe we have to come down here. Uh, this is where we left off. So, there's all this trash here, and there's a couple structures here. I'm going to move the anchor right away. Um, we can't go any further. There is a critter here, like a beluga. Um, however, we can't, I mean, they're working on stuff back here, you can see. Uh, so that's still in development, but there's nothing further here, and the animations for this character aren't implemented yet, so this is kind of the end of the line. Uh, there's still more area down south that we haven't explored, uh, but in terms of, like, going to the east, this is as far as we can go right now. So, we have these two we're going to try to activate. Oh, look how quick that happened. I mean, we're going to have to clear a lot of this, though, because we're going to have to clear a path for it, but that was super quick. Awesome, awesome. And we will pop over here as well in a second to see something exciting, but we're just going to focus on this first. As I would expect, it's going around in a bit of a circle kind of how these ones at the deeper depths work. They just kind of snake around. Uh, they're quite long, more challenging. They take more stamina to clear a path for, but there we go, we got this one, nice. Awesome, so that's gonna heal these corals around here. Uh, looks like we'll probably have to activate the other one to do any more healing. So let's keep looking around for that one. There we go. Nice. Okay. Still only 3.30. We are on the quickest time, so we're doing very well. Still have some stamina left as well. And so hopefully this will heal this area. I'm guessing it will. Yes. Awesome. Let's see if it removed the oil down here too. Yes, it did. Oh, it looks so much better. We will have to clean up the rest of the trash as well. Um, okay, so then over here, you might have noticed as I was clearing the trash up here, 
there's something up here. And this is actually what appears to be the entrance to the Merfolk Kingdom. Uh, right now there's a placeholder sign that says Starlet Town, but look at this. And it's interesting because actually, since the latest update, this is different. There were sculptures here before, and it looks like they are totally revamping the entrance. So there's just some placeholder items on the other, you know, these two sides. Uh, but that's new because there were, like I said, sculptures here before. So they're definitely working on this. But look at this beautiful entrance. I can't wait to go to the Merfolk Kingdom. Oh my gosh, it's going to be amazing. Amazing. And look, it looks like they're actually blocking out a path for us to go along back here or something like that. So yeah, I just love this. It looks so beautiful. So that's pretty exciting. I can't can't wait for that merfolk update you guys it's gonna be so exciting so exciting uh so we still have some time i just this is the end of the line here but i do want to just backtrack a bit um look at the seaweed coming back in love to see it just want to check all around here so because we didn't come down here before where these placeholder pieces are so I do want to move down in this area and see what there is. Oh, there's one of these kind of like shell structures here. It almost looks like we'll have to put some offerings out or something. This is also unfinished, but there's something going on here. Obviously something going on all the way around this area as well. I'm gonna collect some of these. There's a lot of trash here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's move the anchor because there's some more activations here. I definitely want to complete all the activations we have access to. Um, if I can in today's episode, that would be pretty awesome. That would be like a huge check off our list of things to accomplish in this game. So I would love to be able to do that. Let's try. Let's try. We'll see if we can. Why not? I'm pretty low on stamina though and it is getting late. So I think it would be best if we came back tomorrow and started again on this. Uh, then... And we're fully replenished so i did move the anchor here um let's check our town rank though i'm really curious oh <gasps> we got a c oh my gosh you guys we got a c rank that is crazy in fall fall day 18 c rank and you know what this means this means that when winter comes around we actually will have access to a few seeds at sam's general store if we hadn't achieved rank c by the winter we would have to rely on wild seeds and we would only be able to grow green tea. So this is amazing. This means that we're going to be able to complete the um, temple offerings year one. This is huge, you guys. This is a really big accomplishment for us. So I hope that is super exciting. Okay, and then we have two bronze bars now, so we actually can make one of these mayo machines. I'm probably gonna try and make two, but we can make one for now. And then I can grab the eggs and actually process those into mayo. So we can increase our income. We can load up three at a time, so I'm just going to grab three for now. And I am going to put this outside of the chicken coop. I think that makes sense. Just to make it easy, you know. i put it right here. Look how cute it is. I love this machine. It's so cute for a mayo machine, you know. So we're just going to load it up. There's two, and you can mix and match like the quality in the same machine, that's all good, just like everything else. Uh, so that is awesome, cute little mayo container. I love the icons in this game, <laughs> they're just so cute. So that's processing. Um, I was just getting my pockets ready for the next day. Um, I'm gonna sell this jam and I am going to grill a fish, <laughs> or more specifically a crab. I'm going to grill this crab I found in the trash can, because I can. Perfect. Um, I might just quickly pop over to the forest area and see if there's any forgeables worth grabbing. I'm not going to catch any bugs, I'm like so low in stamina. Awesome, so I'm just going to add those to my cell bin and then we're going to go to bed. I really want to get a new bed. <laughs> Maybe we can do that as well tomorrow. Awesome, so we made some decent money. Mostly just like passive income, you know? Although we did do some cooking, which kind of 
pulled in a good amount of our money here, most of it, so that's always helpful. On the next day though, I'm not going to cook because I'd like to keep all of my stamina for diving. So I'm going to opt to not cook, uh, but we are going to head to the blacksmiths. It's a rainy day. We have some harvests and stuff. Um, today I'm actually going to not start with my dailies. I don't usually do this and I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. I am still going to let my animals out. Um, but I just would like to actually start with heading up to the forest and seeing if there's any good forageables. And then I'm going to go into town and then we're going to go diving. So uh, we'll come back, you know, at the end of the day and harvest everything we need to. But I don't want to use my stamina on harvesting today. So I might, you know, see if I have enough left over later and then decide to use my scythe. Oh, the rainy fall days are so beautiful. I mean, every fall day here in my, I mean, every day I should just say in Coral Island is beautiful, but something about these rainy fall days, just extra special. Ben's caravan is gone for the fall. It's probably somewhere much warmer, I'm guessing. <laughs> so we're going to head to the blacksmiths. Oh, I can't resist catching the dragonfly. These ones are really good, just easy money. Just on their own, they sell for a good amount, so. You see the dragonflies, I recommend just catching them and selling them. Okay, so blacksmiths, we are here. And I will be receiving my upgraded tool, which is the silver hoe. So now we can do some next level treasure hunting if we would like to. Um, and then I'm actually going to be leaving my axe here. We might as well, right? I really want to get all these silver tool upgrades done. That means we're probably not going to be getting a bed, but that's okay. We can, we can put that off. We have a bed at least. I will get a nicer one soon, but I am going to upgrade this. So it's the same. We just have to leave our axe behind. And then I have the five silver bars and the 20 pieces of wood along with 5,000 coins to do the upgrade. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we'll come back in two days and it'll be ready. And then while we're here also, I'm just going to... Uh, get these coffers opened so that one had a carved ring holder and this mysterious coffer ooh has a stingray jewel plate is that what that was i've never seen that before a stingray jewel plate i don't know you guys i've never seen this one before um so we're gonna head by the museum and we are going to make some donations i also had some other donations in my storage I was just waiting to do it all at once. And then we're gonna head diving and try and complete a few more activations. Mm, I'm just gonna quickly pop into Sam's and sell a few things. I definitely recommend selling things like at the stores when you can. You know, each store will buy different things. So it's just nice because you get the money right away and it can free up pocket space. But I'm keeping these ones to um, turn into smoothies. Nice, we got a couple of flies that we can turn into bug jerky. It's the first thing I think of every time I get a fly. Ooh, bug jerky. <laughs> awesome, so we're here at the museum. I will be donating this pearl brooch, this stingray jewel plate, uh, the squid, and the tiger barb. And we can almost see a reward coming up here. Oh, look. It actually looks like one of the rewards is a bed, so maybe we just don't need to buy one because we're gonna get a bed for free if we keep donating. So maybe that's why we're not getting a bed yet. Uh, it's just about noon, so we should have enough time to complete one or two activations if all goes well. Oh look, the seaweed's already growing back in. Just because we were clearing these surrounding areas. Oh, that's so nice. There was so much trash here before. So we're gonna try and activate these two. Oh, nice, an ornate coffer. Oh, I hear it, there we go, perfect. We got one of two. I'm not sure what this is gonna do. I wonder if it's going to, 
Oh, probably open. Is this blocked off here? Oh yeah, it's probably gonna maybe open this area. Let's see. Nope. Oh, I bet the one on the other side will open that. There's another one over there. I'll have to go around, I guess. Maybe this one will open it, but I don't think so. I think it would have been this one out of the two. So we might have to go around. Nice, another shimmering coffer. I love finding treasures when we're diving. Oh, there we go. We found the orb. We got a fossil. This one is going forever, it feels like. <laughs> Let's see where it goes now. Oh, yes. Excellent. Okay. Completed that one. Healing the coral around here. Let me just check and see if it happened to open that area up no okay so let's go around i'd like to get around before kibble removes us at 11 p.m <laughs> just so we can move the anchor to where we need to go next okay and it's blocked off here too so we have to go even back further <laughs> we really have to backtrack here past the fishy and then we're probably going to be going down here through the arch, yes. Okay, so we're gonna move the anchor right here. Look at the difference, you guys, between the other areas. This area looks so sad. Okay, wait, is there really no activations yet? I thought there'd be one like in this area with all this trash. So maybe I'm actually gonna move the anchor close to this one so we know for next time we need to work on this one because look at all this trash here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. Uh, this day. I'll, I'll just clear as much as I can, but I'm almost out of stamina. Oh, wow, look. Hold on. Do you see this? <gasps> we found a blue lobster. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know we'd be able to find blue lobsters because Macy has a pet blue lobster and blue lobsters are very, very rare. So we definitely should be doing nothing with this other than donating it to the museum or letting it be. So we'll definitely donate that. Wow. I had no idea there'd be blue lobsters available to, to catch. <laughs> I thought Macy was the only one with a blue lobster. That's so cool. I've never seen that before. Um, I, you know what? I am going to eat a couple Scooby snacks because I am going to need energy anyway when I'm back on land, even if we don't, you know, complete another activation. Yeah, Kibble's saying it's almost my curfew. <laughs> I'm just trying to clear some trash, Kibble. It's okay. Wow, this is such a big area. Yeah, Kibble's definitely going to remove me here in a minute, so um, I'm okay with that. <laughs> we'll come back tomorrow and, you know, resume. Oh, there we go. And now that we have more bronze bars, I am going to go ahead and make a second mayo machine so we can get more of our eggs being processed at once. And I'm going to have to be really quick and harvest everything in like the next <laughs> like in-game hour here. But it's not, it's not hard to do. Just have to collect all this stuff. So we have amaranth, bok choy, uh, we have eggplant and peppers telling me it's getting late i know sometimes i like to um put myself in a bit of a bind a bit of a pinch just for fun just to test my skills i don't know uh, so i'm gonna place this machine here i'm gonna fill it up as well i'm going to very quickly go in and pet my chickens so they're happy. I'm also going to do the same to the cows. I'm just going to milk. Oh my gosh, you guys, why do I do this to myself? We are so close. <gasps> we just made it. I can't believe we made it. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. We literally almost passed out and I only made 777 coins. <laughs> Don't do what I just did. So we sold like a few diving scavengables, one dragonfly and a ring holder. 
<laughs> um, I have lots of stuff to sell on this next day though and I'm gonna do some cooking. Wow, I can't believe we made it. I actually thought we were gonna pass out. <laughs> okay, so let's organize our pockets. I'm going to keep a few uh, regular quality eggs for cooking if, if I get regular quality eggs. So let me just do a bit of cooking. I think I'm going to grill up these flies. <laughs> and then I'm also going to make some smoothies uh, for some extra money because we need the money. Really constantly spending it. Now we've done most of the things that require money, like most upgrades and stuff. Uh, we just have one more tool upgrade to do for silver quality. We still have to build a stable for a horse and purchase a horse. But other than that, you know, we've basically done everything. Uh, the rest would be for like decor. Um, if we wanted to upgrade our uh, coop and barn or purchase additional chickens and cows, you know, we could put money into that. Uh, but otherwise, we basically, you know, we can actually start keeping our money. A little bit that we make which is nice so I just used most of my energy on cooking <laughs> so I made some bug jerky some smoothies uh, and I think I'm just gonna sell all these quality products I'm just gonna keep the basics and we have some cranberries to harvest I think I'm going to be paying a visit to the hot springs today to replenish my stamina Looking good otherwise. Okay. So one thing with the eggs is that while you can mix quality, you can't mix size. So like I can't mix the large eggs in with the regular size eggs because they make different size mayo. Uh, so I'll just have to hold on to the large eggs until these ones are finished processing, which is fine. Uh, same goes for the milk once we do unlock a machine to process the milk as well which we just haven't yet um one thing we could actually be doing though is we could be making butter with the milk we could be putting it in the mason jars um i've just been using the mason jars right now to make like jam and stuff but we could make butter if we wanted to all right so everything and everyone is taken care of on the farm so that means we can head to the hot springs and recharge. I'm also going to make sure I donate this blue lobster because we do not want to risk <laughs> selling that. I'm going to sell some of these large eggs just to assess value as well. So let's head into town. Let's actually, you know what, let's be a little bit social today. Let's say hi to some of the islanders. Leah says, dad used to make me do the pumpkin smashing game when I was a kid. Ugh. I won a couple of times. Personally, I don't care about the competition between Starlet and Beluga at the Harvest Festival, but my audience eats it right up. Strange. I'm guessing she's talking about her social media following. Erica says, I'm just enjoying the weather. What are you doing, Sarah? You seem to be in a rush. I'm going to donate a blue lobster to the museum. <laughs> I always wonder why Bree didn't purchase your grandparents' plot of land. She seems to be at the lookout area all the time, so she clearly enjoys the view from up there. It's a mystery to me because the lady has money. But hey, at least now we have you. Sir, so, yeah. It's starting to get chilly. I hope it doesn't get any colder than this. Do you know where I can get some bamboo shoots in the fall? I went looking for them around the hot spring area. No luck. I'm pretty sure that's the only spot you can find them. Tinda says, Archie found a pair of old boots near the cave yesterday and brought them home. And that's just one of his findings. You should check at the lake for mushrooms. There were plenty over there the other week. And Jack says, this crisp fall chill makes working outside easier. It also makes Kenny's flute go out of tune. Someone should probably tell him that. Me? No. Maybe you should do it. You two are friends, aren't you? I should have done inventory last night, but I got caught up watching the cooking show. Wow, that show could hypnotize you for hours. So fun getting to know the characters. Oh, let's see how to cure too. What monsters you encounter depends on how deep in the cavern you go. The season has nothing to do with where the monsters are. They're all there, just on different levels. Why are you asking so many questions? You should just go and hunt already. <laughs> I had way too much pumpkin pie for dinner last night. I think I ate enough pumpkin pie for a year, but I wouldn't say no to more if there's leftovers. 
so fun getting to know the characters. I know we've been so focused on like hustling and getting, you know, farm tasks done, but. So we're gonna donate that. We're inching our way to the next reward. And do we still have time to go to the hot springs? I was gonna say hi to Joko too, everyone's here. You know, it's not just wood that I work with. I also carve a mean jack-o'-lantern. I guess it's Saturday, so everyone's like out and about. I love this time of year. The air is crisp, the leaves put on a beautiful show. And when the leaves fall off, you can really see just how much yield a tree will give. It's gorgeous. There's no better way to spend the day than being outside, especially in weather like this. Ling says, you can break open treasure chests you find at sea. Who knows, they might have valuable items inside. Oh, trust me, Ling, we are doing all sorts of treasure hunting. It's sad to see how much trash there is at sea, isn't it? It's unfortunate. It really is, isn't it? Okay, let's uh, go to the hot springs. Oh, I see a bamboo shoot back in there. We can't get in there though, but I see it. I see a couple. Surya just needs to break into the bamboo forest and he can get his bamboo shoots, <laughs> no problem. Okay, I have basically a full stamina bar now. So let's head to the diving pier. Oh, and we have our hoe back after remember, we can get dig spots now. Ooh, a book. A book, what's this book about? Facts about a four leaf clover phenomenon, which is like so funny because we literally just found the book by hitting a four leaf clover. That's cool, there's a whole book about that. Can't wait to read it when the books are implemented. Oh, they're doing yoga. Saturday yoga. That looks nice. Look at them. Oh, I'd love to see them in little athletic wear outfits. Yoga outfits. Wouldn't that be cute if they just changed into active wear with a little poof? Like we saw how the bathing suits are going to look when they change. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can make another activation today. Oh, look at all the flowers. My gosh, there's really good foraging. But we have an objective. Can't get distracted now. We need to activate this, this structure right here. Okay. Ocean creatures might want different items depending on the season. I like that Kibble knows that because I panicked when I met the first turtle and I thought I didn't have enough time in the season to grow a cucumber, which I didn't. And I thought I'd have to wait until the next spring <laughs> to advance, but no. They ask for seasonal items, so it changes every season. So no need to panic. We're looking for a solar orb. We're looking for a solar orb. <gasps> we found a solar orb. Excellent, excellent. That was so quick. It's like we literally just got here. Okay, where are you going to venture to? Oh wow, it's really going all the way up here, hey? Okay, okay. I thought this was gonna be like a separate area for some reason. Oh, there's so much trash here. Look at this little house. It looks like we might end up like placing something here. I don't know why it looks like that to me. Maybe it's just a decoration, but it kind of looks like an offering pillar of some sort to me. So is this circling back around? Oh my gosh, there's two more up here, you guys. There's two more structures okay this one is complete so what is this one going to do oh my gosh there's so much trash you guys it's so sad let's move the anchor here before we get too far ahead of ourselves so there's two structures there oh this is where okay i see where we are this is that like path remember when we were backtracking so that's one of them and does this bring us all the way back? Yeah, so this brings us back where we went down instead of up. So it looks like the next activations. Wow, they're so far away from this area though. It's always shocking every single time we enter a new area with all this trash. I know it's the same amount of trash every time, but it always just looks like so much because we've cleared like the previous area we were in. It's always so shocking to enter a new area. I'm now 100% determined to like complete all these activations in this episode. I feel like we have to 
for the sake of the ocean. Like, I feel like we're so close. There we go. We got an orb. Okay. I might keep poking around here. We're getting close. This one is so long. Oh my gosh. Please tell me we made it. Yes, we did. Wonderful. <gasps> we found another orb. Amazing. Okay, is this going to... Yes, this is going to open this area which connects back to where we've already been. The upper path. So now there's like more options available. By the way, you guys, if you're playing this game and you're having trouble with the underwater diving experience, I do have a video that has some helpful tips. I think if you've watched this Let Let's Play series, you probably already know them. Um, I've tried to share them and, you know, just watching me dive can be helpful uh, with my method. However, the exciting news is that there's actually going to be a diving map. Um, it appears. It appears that the team has been working on um, a diving map of sorts. It's been documented lately in the developer diaries, so we can look forward to that. I don't know if they're going to have it in like the next update or, you know, it might not be in the next update, but it looks like that is coming. So that'll be really like awesome. Just help us navigate, you know, everything a bit better. Kind of get a bird's eye view of what we're going through down here, you know? I do think it'd be cool if we could like toggle it on or off though because I do like the organic exploration, personally. Um, mind you, I feel like once I explore it the first time, it would be nice to kind of refer to the map for like backtracking and stuff, but either way. Either way, I'm happy. Okay, I really- oh no! We didn't quite make it. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention to the time. I was like so into our conversation. Okay, well, we're gonna have to go finish that the next day. I wonder if it'll like save our progress of that. I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever left in the middle of an activation like that. I'm kind of hoping we made some decent money today. I actually did try to make a bit of extra money. So it'd be really nice if we could get up to 5,000 coins. So we could do another tool upgrade, although that does mean I have to sacrifice my watering can for a couple days. Which would mean that like these wouldn't get watered. Which I almost forgot to water them. <laughs> okay, let's head to bed. Oh my gosh, we love to push limits apparently in today's episode. <laughs> I'm acting like I have all the time in the world here. Let's go to bed. Oh my goodness, just from chatting with everyone, look, we gained some hearts with Jack, Luke, and Surya. It's been a minute since we've got hearts, I feel like. <laughs> and 7,000 coins. Okay, you guys, I sold a bunch of the crops. Along with some that I just had in storage, that I was like, I feel like we should just sell these. Um, some honey, mayonnaise. Um... And then the other area, you know, we brought in like a little bit of extra money here and there. But the other spot where we brought in a good chunk of our money is from the cooking. So, cooking and farming today. So it looks like now our chickens are just producing large eggs. So, luckily, pretty soon we'll be able to process them. These ones I am going to keep to process. <gasps> oh my gosh! I grew up! <laughs> There's not a baby cow anymore. Aw. Well, at least now we're going to be getting more milk. And you know what? Now I'm thinking about it after talking about it yesterday. I'm going to process this into butter. Because why not? And just pop it in your mason jar. You'll get butter. Alright, so dailies are done. I'm going straight to the diving pier. Oh, okay. So some of the trash like respawned into the path. But the activation is still like going. So we just have to follow it again. Kibble is so helpful, honestly, because especially with these longer ones, when you have to wait for it to come all the way back, Kibble like lets you know ahead of time like what's going to be blocking it, so you can like work on it while you're waiting. Oh my gosh, this one's coming all the way around to this other <laughs> structure that we activated. It's circling around like the entire area. Did we do it, Kibble? We have to wait a long time for it to come back because it's such a long trail. 
I'm hoping that was the end of it. Yep. Awesome. So these two are complete. It must have opened here, maybe? Oh, and the circle's around here! So you guys... You know what that means? That means we have officially completed every possible activation uh, at this stage in early access for Coral Island. So everything that's available to activate in the ocean, we have activated. There's still some trash left. Um, you can, it is possible to clear all the trash. It will, however, eventually respawn. So, like, you know, not as much, but there will be a little bit that respawns at this point uh, in the game. I guess people are still littering or it's, you know, drifting in from neighboring islands. Um, I did do a stream where I tried to clear every single piece of trash from the ocean. I accomplished that, so you can always check that out if that interests you. Because we probably won't be doing that in this Let's Play series, because there's so many other things to do. Um, but yeah, so that is basically... That's the whole diving experience right now. And, you know, let's check our rank for the ocean here. We're at like a mid D. Mid D. So, you know, once they add more content and stuff and more activations, more areas to check out, this will increase. So that is super exciting. I'm going to move the anchor here. We're going to head out. We did it. Thanks, Kibble. You know, we'll be back when more is added. <laughs> more is added to the game or when I need more trash. Or if I want to treasure hunt. So. Uh, that is super exciting. I don't really have much stamina left. So I'm going to do some foraging. Which takes no stamina. Oh my gosh Alice. Just hanging out. Reading a book. Zara says taking a break from farming. I'm always on the lookout for a new adventure. Look closer Sarah. This town is full of it. Well how about I fish with you. See if we can catch something new. Oh my gosh, this one's quite a fighter. What do we have? Oh, an octopus. <laughs> nice, that one was pretty tough to catch, so. Zara knows the good fishing spots. Oh my gosh, this one's also... Like, I'm barely, look, I'm barely, it's... <laughs> this is tough. I'm fighting for my life here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch this one. Oh my gosh, this one's so hard to catch. What? What is this? What is this? Why is it so difficult? I need to know what this is. <gasps> this is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> a grouper. <laughs> of course, it's a grouper. Those ones are so hard to catch. There is one um, better fishing pole I could get that would make it a bit easier to catch. But oh my gosh, those groupers. Those are tough to catch. Let's check out fish and sips. See what everyone's up to. Oh wow, everyone's here. Say hi to Lily. I'm mostly here to support Theo. Oh, what a good sister. Not usually a big fan of crowds. Oh, we lost mom in the fall some years ago. It's always the hardest season for Theo and me, but he wouldn't admit it because he's always so good at hiding his emotions. Wow, Lily is really opening up to us right now. I wish Theo wouldn't hide his feelings and just let them out, because if you strain something too long, it'll eventually break. I don't want my brother to break. Oh, You know what, Lily? It is good to let your emotions out and share your feelings. You're correct. You're very correct. Scott says, let's get some more, well, change of vibe here. Let's get some more drinks going in here. Next round's on me. The ground in the fall feels a bit different than in other seasons. That's the first thing I notice usually. That and the leaves changing color. Very nice. Connor says, hi there, Sarah. Enjoying yourself. I wish someday someone would create a warm, fizzy drink with dried pumpkin in it. I would call it pumpkin extract drink. Sounds good, doesn't it? You guys have pumpkin extract drink in Pokio? Lucky you. I feel, like it, I feel like we could come up with a better name. We could workshop that. Sam says, trees take about four weeks to grow. It's longer than other plants, but the good thing is you don't need to water them all that much. They're self-sufficient, you see. Emily says the cups could use a little chilling before serving, and then it would be just right. Do I talk to Noah or Frank about this? Who's in charge here tonight? <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're getting lots of new dialogue I haven't seen before. 
Are you ready for snow season? The kids are going to love it. They usually gather in that park over there building snowmen. And should we interrupt Paul's delightful dancing? Did we talk? Really? Uh, must be the music then. It's so loud I can't seem to focus. Apologies. I'm trying to find time to edit all this video footage before the deadline. I feel ya, Anne. <laughs> Is it a self-imposed deadline? Theo says, any song requests, Sarah? Alice says, Dinda and Joko are very talented. They made some of our cabinets. I wonder how long it took them to get so good at carpentry. I have to clean all the dead leaves off the telescope and it's so annoying. Mmm, fall. I just love the smell of the air this time of year. Kenny says, it's so nice to come here and hang out in the evenings. I think I'm the only person here who doesn't complain about their job, though. Ranching is hard work, but I love it. Aaliyah says, do you have more layers to wear at home? Winter's next week, and it seems like it might be a cold one this year. Jim says, at this time of year, we start keeping the heater on at night. I do Tai Chi on my day off and spend the rest of the day scavenging around. Sounds awesome. That was so nice chatting. Oh, look, they're sitting down now. Probably hungry after all that dancing. Oh, and Eva's here too. She's probably hanging out with Betty. They're good friends. Eva says it's a bit chilly right now, but I much prefer it to the heat of summer. Fall is so pretty, isn't it? Back home, the trees never looked like this. That was so nice to like see everyone here. It's kind of nice to be social. A little reward after... I'm gonna catch this, whatever this is. A little reward after, you know, healing the entire ocean. <laughs> No big deal. Oh, it's not, um, it didn't light up green. Did you guys see that? Interesting. I don't know. I tried. <laughs> okay, let's sort everything out here. Oh, we do have to make that donation too. I guess we'll do that tomorrow. Let's head to bed. Oh, we got a heart with a lily. Love it. Uh, 1,500 coins. We did not do much today for money. We are being social. Uh, friends are more important than money. So, 1,500 coins. Oh good, it's raining, so we don't have to water anything again. Uh, let's just collect our harvests here. I'm kind of in the mood to do some treasure hunting today. Oh my gosh, look how many harvests we have though. We have so many. I love all the colors of the crops. They just look so pretty. So now we can fill up this machine with the larger eggs. So see, it's gonna make a large mayo instead of the small one. It's like a different icon and everything, different item. So I'm actually deciding to sell quite a lot of like produce and stuff from my farm instead of like keeping it, just because the processing times are a bit slower, um, you know, right now on some of the artisan machines. So. You know, until they, they update that, I'm just going to be selling a bit more of my produce than I normally would. Um, we don't know for a fact that they're going to be, you know, speeding up the time again. But I think it's going to be somewhere between what it was and what it is. Uh, what it was before, like, the first updates and what it is now. I think it's going to be, like, you know, somewhere in between that. Now, uh, that's just speculation, though. I'm going to head to the lab first for the fossils. Okay, so we're going to process these, 20 coins piece. We got bone, TBD. I suggest you keep these until we know what they're gonna be. Uh, Plesiosaurus skull. A Mosasaurus arm. A stone. A Plesiosaurus leg. Another Plesiosaurus leg. And a Plesiosaurus tail. That was a really good finds. Very good odds. We only had one, you know, that was like a stone. Uh, we could give that to Archie. It's Archie's favorite. Let's see, where is Archie? Oh, look, we're heading that way anyway. So let's go give Archie a stone. I just feel like it, it's a hard-earned stone, so might as well give it as a gift, you know? Archie says, whoa, I love rocks. <laughs> Do you plant cacti on your farm? The one that grows pretty flowers. I'd love to. At school, we learned that in winter, you can plant dragon fruit. It's a different kind of cactus and it grows fruit. My mom makes the best fish tacos. That's my favorite kind of taco. Can you do stuff like that? <laughs> Good old kids. Okay, so now we're gonna head into the smith. 
I'm going to receive my upgraded tool, which is the silver axe. So now we have most of our tools upgraded. We have the silver hoe, silver axe, uh, and silver pickaxe. I don't actually think I'm going to upgrade my watering can because I'm not really using my watering can right now too much. Like, kind of for the fruit plants, but I don't, I don't really feel like it's worth my money right now. I want to use my money for other things. Like, we're mostly reliant sprinklers. So I am going to process these coffers, some bronze kelp. Ooh, a beach snow globe. It's so pretty. Small figurine. Ooh, a magic lamp. And a ship's wheel. So let's see which ones. I'm sure one of those at least was new. Yeah, we don't have the ship's wheel. Don't have the magic lamp. Don't have the small figurine. Don't have the... <gasps> those were all new. I wasn't sure about the ship's wheel or the small figurine. I thought these two were definitely new. Oh, that's awesome. Four new artifacts. Okay, we definitely have to swing by the museum. Uh, let's say hi to Raphael. Oh no, I need to dry off my boots. Mud everywhere. It's still too warm to spend all day in front of the furnace, but at least the wind is pretty cool. Pablo says, Raphael loves Onyx. Ben is usually my go-to guy for rare items, but he's out of town. That's just great. Do you know where I can get some Onyx? Ah, uh, the mines. <laughs> the last day of fall is the busiest day for us. That's when Raphael and I put up winter decorations around town, you know, so it looks more festive. Adds a little more color than plain white snow. And I can't wait to see the decorations. So we actually already had all these fossils. That's so funny. We can sell them. Donate the octopus. The ship's wheel. Magic lamp. The small figurine. And the beach snow globe. 111 donations. So it looks like at 120, maybe. Maybe we'll get the next reward. Let's say hi to Tipa. I'd rather be inside. I don't want to get muddy. I painted falling leaves the other day. It turned out okay, but I'm not satisfied with it. It's generic and bland. It's missing something, that's for sure. And you know what, you guys? I want to try out our new silver hoe and do some treasure hunting because that is exactly why I upgraded it. I didn't upgrade it to use it on the farm. <laughs> I upgraded it to do treasure hunting. So let's do that. Oh, look at that. Good start. <laughs> we are off to a great start. Okay. So if you click and hold this, you're going to get a nine tile dig spot, which is awesome. Much better than the three with the bronze hoe. I just love doing this. Like, honestly, even if I found nothing, <laughs> even if I just found trash, it is so satisfying and fun. Oh, and the coconuts have grown in, you guys. Oh, we found a torn page. Read it in your journal. This one is Sunny's Notes. Sunny's Notes says, Limit fishing channel subscriptions to 43. Cut birthday present budget. Neighbors that love fish. Free. Scott. King. Red arowana. Giant. Stingray. Yellow moray eel. Archie in tacos. Theo, same as Scott, plus green sawfish anglers and in tacos. Free in tacos, just like Arch. Valentina in tacos too. So many fish taco lovers. Yuri, frogfish, and lobster. So this is basically telling you what islanders love fish. So if you wanted to get like free gifts, which is what Sunny's doing, uh, you could give them these fish. Uh, or you can make them some fish tacos when you get the recipe. So that is super handy. And we definitely have to collect these coconuts. These are the Makapuno coconuts. I have to go around and see where else they've grown in. Ooh, a coffer. Nice. Another coffer. Some glass. I actually really need glass. I'm like, I keep running out as I'm bottling kelp. Nice. Another fossil. I don't know, you guys, why I did this this way. Don't. I'm sure it's bothering some of you. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I really don't. Another fossil. Okay, so I'm going to use the remaining time today to go around and collect whatever coconuts I can find. Another fossil. Nice. I'm just going to finish off the day. Oh, look, Ben's back. Interesting. I'm just going to finish off the day with a little bit of foraging along with finding these coconuts. 
We already have like a bunch more stuff to open. Even though we just did that today. Um, so we're going to be selling all of these extras. We ended up finding 32 coconuts. We almost filled our shipping bin completely. Let's go to bed. Nice, we made just under 7,000 coins. So we sold a bunch of crops, some jam, mayo, honey. Um, what else? Those coconuts, 2,400, just those coconuts alone. Free money, that's so awesome. And then... <laughs> Some other things, so some butter, some fossils, smoothie, bug jerky, <laughs> some odds and ends. Excellent. That's where I'm going to leave off today's episode. I can't believe that we were able to complete all the ocean activations and achieve a town rank C by like mid to late fall. That is so exciting and so awesome. Um, I'm really excited for the next episode as well. I think I want to try and work towards getting a horse. We also have to get to the bottom of the water caverns. And then it's probably going to be winter. So we can start working on the winter offerings, unlocking the greenhouse. There's still so much we have to do and we have to look forward to. So thank you so much for the support on this series. Be sure to leave the video a like if you liked it. And let me know in the comments below if you've been able to achieve town rank C, and if so, when in the year you were able to achieve it by. Otherwise, let me know your favorite part of this episode. As you know, I always love hearing from you. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. And until next time, take care. And a very special thanks to Meredith, Formotus, Tansy, Cisco, Cheese, Coons, Divine Raven, and Magic, my beautiful Sunstone members. I love you all very much and thank you so, so much for the extra support, which really helps to make all that I do on this channel possible and means the world to me.